All right, everybody, uh, how's it going? We're gonna have uh, some more XCOM going on. So <coughs> we're moving towards the end game. We have plasma lances to finish off in six days, and some power armor. And I believe that's gonna be it for our research. And we're just gonna start banging out shadow pa chamber projects. Also, once everybody recovers from various injuries or mostly just being tired, uh, we're gonna start just banging out black side missions to get rid of those. Uh, and essentially at that point we're going to be like just going into the end game the obviously we had our uh, one unfortunate incident where the great salty joe died to a militia rifle uh because the game basically saves scummed us unfortunate but we avenged him we got the chosen so we're good to go uh what so i've actually been wanting to look at this like what are the actual kills so Z has gone on 23 missions and killed 79. Walter has gone on 23 missions and killed 115. Uh, Brian has been on 22 missions and killed 122. I think everybody else is like miles behind them. Yeah, 19 and 60. I think Cody's gone on quite a few. He's only got like 34. Uh, uh, Chelsea Scott hasn't gone on? Yeah. So like everybody is like miles behind our two snipers right now. That's just like... <laughs> like our two snipers both have like well over 100 kills each um, yeah that's just how it's going one thing I did want to do though is I do want to go through and see if there's any useful abilities that we can train up before we really start getting going unfortunately Z kind of got some shit RNG because I don't really care about salvo or volatile mix like he's not a good grenade user blast padding's okay but he's been mostly invincible anyway death from above meh like so Z didn't really pull anything good at random I don't think Charles pulled anything that useful either. Uh, we did get Chain Shot. Hail of Bullets is okay. Chain Shot is generally better though. Because just being able to double tap, especially at close range of that weapon, is pretty solid. Don't care about Volatile Mix. Aim is complete trash. So we are going to give... I am going to give Charles Chain Shot. And let's go Brian White. What does Brian White have? So he also has the option for Chain Shot, which is awesome. Uh, Guardian, Covering Fire, don't care, Phantom, don't really care. Okay, so I don't really care about most of these, but Chain Shot is a cool ability to have, so we'll buy that for him. Walter, Walter gets Implacable, right? That's, yeah, that's Implacable. Deep Cover, don't care, Covering Fire, don't care, but he does get Rapid Fire, which is amazing, so we will definitely buy a Rapid Fire. And uh, don't yeah, I don't have anything to do with GTS. All right, so at this point, we're basically just killing time for all of our research and psionics to get complete and to do all of our shattered chamber projects. So we're not we don't have any like pressing concerns. So we also have some sabotage kicking the uh, that's going to kick the track down while we do this. Is there anything we care about? Reduce contact cost? We have like 210 intel, we don't really need to reduce contact cost. Honestly, we don't really need supplies either. Uh, we have like all the black sites available. Uh, we'll just grab some supplies, why not? Course. You can never have too many supplies. There's always like random crap you can buy with it. But uh, as soon as everybody recovered, which is like 7 days, which should be about the time of this event, I think, uh, we're gonna go hit another black site. Ta-da. And yeah, like that's mostly it. Like we're pretty much at end game right now. We're just getting all of our abilities locked down. Did they not have the ability? Did they remove that in War of the Chosen? Because there's an ability where like your Void Rift has a chance to has a chance to hit everybody with new ability Dom. Yeah. Still, yes, Fortress. Because there's an ability in XCOM 2, and I haven't seen it at all in War of the Chosen, even though we've been training these psychers for a while. Uh, yeah, this must be... is this the Avatar project? Anyway, yeah, so that's the uh, sabotage. But uh, there's... outside track. There's an ability in XCOM 2, and I'm not sure if they even have it in here, where when your psionic drops a Void Rift, they have a percentage chance to also hit the enemy with insanity, which then also ruptures them, and it's this, like, dumb chain of events. But it doesn't look like that is actually a thing anymore, which is annoying. 
Because it's hilariously random. Recover loot, don't care, intel. Grant an additional three powers to the Avenger? All these are kind of useless. Uh, resistance contact, facility lead, resistance network. Contact with regions instantly. I mean, that's kind of neat, but like... So we don't really care about any of these. Like, what we're really looking for is something like... Sure, we'll do hidden reserves, get some more Avenger power. Um... Because what we would really want to see from this is like some more PCSs with potentially aim, but I haven't seen a PCS aim in this yet, so I suspect that might not be a thing. Which would be kind of sad. Uh, okay. I don't actually care about staffing this. With I don't actually care about staffing that for increased time, but like we'll do it anyway. The only priority for staffing will be like once we start making wraith armor, because I don't want it to take forever. Or is it a Wraith Armor? The one that lets you walk through walls and gives you, like, the bullshit grappling hook. Shadow Lance. Plasma Lance. Improved Swords. What does Improved Swords do? Swords include... Improved Sword Damage by 1 is pretty good. We have the Warlock's Disruptor Rifle, and we have Power Armor. Is it really worth it to give Z and Charles better, Charles better melee attacks? I'm not actually sure it is. Uh, there isn't. I don't think there's anything on either of those dipshits we care about. I will send word yeah, it's like two days. Not like crazy. We'll do it. We are using rangers pretty heavily, so like just getting improved damage on them is fine. It has been interesting that like we RNG'd into a lot of stuff that's. Ooh, a landed UFO. I haven't actually seen these in War of the Chosen yet. Straight up psychopod, so we have the big dick, we have a codex, elite lancer, heavy mech, elite shield bearer, elite purifier, and an archon. That is a really stacked roster. There are 11 of them. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't seen one of the PCS that grants aim yet, so that's why I was like, is it just not appearing in this playthrough, or like, has it been removed? Was essentially my question on that. Uh, yeah. So Charles seems fine. I don't really care about the Templar. It's cute and all. We'll just take Chelsea. But that is one of the, like the annoying parts is if there's like a specific upgrade you want for a character, there's no real way to intentionally get it. You just have to hope it appears like either randomly on a mission. Uh, like, you either have to hope it appears randomly on a mission, or you have to hope that, like, you see it in the, uh, the shop, the black market shop, or whatever. So it's, like, kind of annoying. Well, normally I see some of the shitty ones just randomly, so, like, at this point I would take a shitty one, I'm just not getting any of them. I have had like three for uh, what is it, the dodge rating, which is really good, and it's been great for the uh, the two rangers. The resistance has been I guess I give it to psionics because like increased will is trash, like and that's the only other one I've gotten. The increased speed is also amazing on a ranger, but I haven't Any seen one of those yet. I've only seen uh, increased HP, increased HP, increased will, and then dodge. Because I have gotten, like, rangers with plus three speed, and that gets legitimately insane. But yeah, snipers with, like, superior scope and, like, superior PCS for uh, perception or whatever are incredibly accurate, but, like, I can't buy, a, like, literally buy one. I should probably check the black market and see if they have one. Because I don't check the black market as often as I probably should. UFO UFO landed has to be like super rare because I almost never see this. There, all right. Like you see this like once a playthrough or something. Edit there now. All right. Da -da -da. Look at us. Jordan up. Jordan does have overly aggressive, which is part of the reason why it's not really good to just leave him. I should probably fix that, but I don't think I care enough. In most cases, the difference between Overwatch and not Overwatch doesn't really matter. And as long as you remember he has it, you should be fine. Roger that. 
it's, it's like it doesn't randomly bone you like fear of the chosen or fear of the muton could potentially although fear of the chosen was actually pretty good for us but the game is so much nicer with like panic responses in this game than it has been in like any other XCOM game. Other XCOM games, people panic, they start shooting each other. Like it just goes to absolute shit basically instantly. <laughs> and from what I can tell, like there is no panic response for a shoot teammate. At least not directly. Like obviously if they're mind controlled, they could be shot, but. But like there's no panic response that I've ever seen for shoot teammate in this game, which is incredibly nice of the game to not do that. Because, man, nothing makes an encounter go like shit when one of your teammates gets injured, and then another teammate immediately decides to shoot them. Like, I see you're injured, let me help with that by killing you. Which I have had happen before, there we go, alright. So ideally, we want Jordan to get the Archon. Rolling out. Uh, or Charlie. Or no, Jordan. Jordan doesn't have Dom yet. Dor Jordan just started training Dom. Shit. But Charlie does have Dom. Unfortunately, Jordan's the better Psionic. I forgot about that because I was checking their Psy ratings, and Jordan was actually higher than Charlie. Not by much, but like by a little. All right. Da -da -da. Orders confirmed. On the move. All right. We have you go over here, and you're, you are not Jordan. Scanning. Oh, that's not the position I want, because that could be flanked. It's fine. It doesn't look like they're doing anything. Oh, okay, so we have two pods of enemies to potentially deal with. Doesn't look that difficult, though. As long as the mind control goes off. Uh, let's go. So... Uh... Charlie, did Charlie Hicks buy that upgrade and I just didn't know? What, is, what upgrades does he have? So he's got Schism, Insanity now does a small amount of damage, Stain, Fortress, Soul Seal, Solace. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have the ability to just add that. Uh, um, you have an 87% for a Dom, that should be enough. That's enough to go for it. Like, we have enough oh shit buttons that I'm not like worried about getting super overwhelmed. As long as the... yeah. And the Dom works, so we should be fine. Purifier probably isn't going to do much. There's a lot of shield bearers, which is kind of weird. Did Jordan get Dom? I don't think he did. Uh, he did get Dom. Okay, so we can Dom... Elite Lancer would be our top pick to Dom, depending on what the rest of the team can do. Alright. So we're gonna see what Brian has. Do you have a pistol shot as your first action? You can shoot the Purifier and that's it. I don't give a shit about the Purifier. Wait, Purifier is the least threatening motherfucker here. I'd rather go up here and have you... Oh fuck. You really can't see anything, can you? Oh... Uh... Who's your bondmate? Your bondmate's Charlie Hicks. He's already activated. That is not what we want to see. Okay. Uh, We can... I believe we can clear your line of sight though. Because we can just blow up this tree. I should have checked that line of sight before I moved. But I think that should open LOS. No, it doesn't. Yeah, we only have one target for face off. Oh, he can only. You don't do that with a sniper rifle. It's annoying. Located target assets. That works. Target neutralized. Okay. You have a second action. We have a second action here. Oh yeah. Activate. 
Maybe we just have Cody shut down the mech real quick. Make it easy. There's 73% to shut it down is fine. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. You're a champ. Okay, so we're probably about to have to get creative. Which is not... I would rather... I really didn't want to have to get creative with this, but we ha we're we about to have to get creative. Okay. So... Charles... Can you stab people? You can stab people. You can stab a lot of people, actually. You can stab a purifier. I don't want you to stab a purifier. You can stab. You can stab the mech. All right, so we're probably gonna have to have Charles do this. Um, hope Chelsea can land this. If she can, this will put us in a great spot. She misses. If it doesn't put us in a great spot. It puts us in a terrible spot. Awesome. Okay, so we have. Jordan can dom one person, which is not really what we need. Other powers, he can inspire somebody. Okay. Uh, plan is formulating, so we're gonna Reaper. I'm gonna walk up here. I'm going to just free action to throw an axe at the mech, and hopefully this drops him low enough for the sword to kill him. I don't think that did what it needed to do. He gets an action refunded. He gets implacable. This is really aggressive, by the way. But he's got untouchable. So we can chain shot him, it's only an 85%, but if both shots hit, we got it. That was really far off. Okay. That was not what we needed to happen there. Uh, I wish you had a slightly better line of sight. So Jordan can mind control the purifier. This is the least useful person to mind control. Or we can have him... Can he silence across... Can he no lance across both of them? Because 9 damage through armor would definitely be a kill. Oh, god. The angles on these are so weird. No. He's just short from his current position, so he'd have to move a little... But I think it's viable for Jordan to no lance across both of them. And if he no lance across both of them, uh, that would remove basically every threat except for the mech, which I don't have an answer for. Okay, yeah. There's some slightly annoying RNG at parts of that turn. Okay. Uh. This should execute both. Right? Well, the Purifier does have a lot more hit points than I thought. I didn't think the Purifier would explode to that. But it's fine. Okay. And let Brian go on Overwatch. Um, if Hopefully the mech triggers the Overwatch, or the Blade Storm gets him. Blade Storm misses. Uh, but if the mech walks in and triggers the Overwatch, Brian does have a chance of... Wow, that mech did. Come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. Alright, problem solved. Okay. Golden. So, 6 out of 11. There's 5 more. One is definitely a psychopod. I don't remember the rest of them. Okay. Uh. Move our brand new Archon. What is that special ability? Battle Frenzy. Gaining an itself into a terrifying Battle Frenzy. Gaining an in the last two turns. Got it. Okay. 
Um, we're gonna have to go up here and just start stacking on this door. There's not really a lot of cover. Charles can cover us and he's got good vision on the only like places that we would care about. Uh, part of that was also Jordan's RNG on the uh, the Silence. Because the RNG on the Silence, like, the Purifier had a lot of hit points under his armor. He actually had more than I was expecting. So it was like, min damage roll. Didn't see what that was. But, uh, so like a min damage roll wouldn't have done it. But, like, he did fortunately get a very high damage roll on both the Purifier and the Shield Bearer would have died regardless. Didn't have enough HP under his armor. Alright, Charles is just going to stay put, but everybody else is going to run up. And we'll get set for next turn. And we'll jump in. Alright, Archon will overwatch. So the annoying, the annoying part about mind controlling gatekeepers is they can't overwatch, by the way. If you've never mind controlled one. So you have to either burn both their actions or just like manually in turn. I hate manually ending the turn because I always like think I'm missing something. For obvious reasons. Alright, Jordan doesn't see anything. Uh, we kind of want Cody to be the first one in because Cody failed us. No, that's Steven Ford actually. Anyway, where are you? Right there. Uh, we want Steven Ford to be the first one in because his positioning is the least critical. And there is the lowest requirement for him to react to things. Archon doesn't see shit. We have another door over here we could stack on. Seems like a good plan. Get an right. Seems good. We'll tuck Jordan into this corner. I have Brian, chill next to him. Getting it done. And we're gonna get ready to move out next turn. And next turn we're ready to go into the room move, of Charlie move, Hicks. Move. Drop in behind. Steven can go on Overwatch as can the Archon, I'm okay with that. Um, I would like Chelsea to be in a position to shoot a grenade as her first action without being completely boned. Charles is next. Charles is literally just going to stand in front of the door. Overwatch. I think the Archon can just fly through this window. Oh, hey, there we go. Alright, so we have Mech, Sectopod. Something, I can't quite tell what the other one is. Purifier. Mech overwatches as the tradition. Alright. So you have two enemies left after this batch. And we do in fact have a sectopod, so now is Brian's time to shine with some blue screen. Once the game figures out what it's doing. Will it figure it out what it's doing? Eh? Eh? Stop being weird, game. Alright, there we go. Alright, well, fire pistol for free is first shot. See what happens. That was a 15 damage critical. That's pretty good. So he's almost dead. We can't inspire Brian, which seems like it's actually part of the plan. Nah, I don't want to get that close to him though. We have a 100% chance to just kill him. We'll just shoot him in the face and kill him. 
Like, I'm trying to get, like, I'm trying to get, like, weird and clever here, but, like, don't think that's the right call. Like, I think we just walk this one across the finish line, honestly. Because there's not really a compelling reason to do anything weird with it. Alright, I do want to have Jordan just go ahead and grab this purifier real quick. Real quick. 100%. And then Archon, Archon's like, let's go. Ah, oh, that was actually a really good hit. All right, so we got Chelsea Scott is the only one who like can kind of use XP. So we'll have her move over and see if she can get the finishing shot. So we have two enemies left. Well, how about that? And we have two mind controlled buddies. Seems doable. Everybody else is going to enter the room and stack, and we'll have uh, Steven hack next turn. Whatever you say. The power supply on this ship is likely to be a newer variation of the Illyrium core driving the Avengers systems. Alright, so anything else? No. Alright, so just these two. Going Overwatch. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Alright. So we only have two enemies. Steven can pretty safely hack uh, the device this turn. Like, even if we get an encounter, he should be fine. Where is he? Yeah, you can hack it from here. All right, what you got, Steven Ford? Ah, it's worth a shot. All right. Bypassing security. We're good to go. We've knocked out the okay. alien distress signal. Looks like so just need to find the last two enemies. We're gonna send the purifier out scouting. If he finds anything to purify. He doesn't find shit. Archon doesn't find shit. Let's see, does Charles Holcomb find anything? I wouldn't mind getting a closer look at their flight computer. Ours could probably use some updates. Okay, that's it. All right, cool. It's like meaningless dialogue. Thanks. No idea where the enemy is. Oh yeah, purifier also can't go on Overwatch. Of course you can't. Of course it can't. Okay. All right, what you got? I'm going. Send Charlie Hicks over here. Send Chelsea over here. Over and should be have Steven just walk in the middle of the room and okay. overwatch everybody that can't overwatch and then we'll just tell the purifier to sit there like an idiot because he's a purifier. Get Overwatch with a flamethrower. Fucking loser. Right. Okay. Since you're useless. God, you are useless. Can't even find the enemy. Alright, Archon, what you got? 
Archon doesn't find anything. Maybe they're in the other door. Or maybe they're through this door over here. The only thing I can come up with, because like either they're like out here, which doesn't look like they are, or they're out here, which seems more likely at this point. Or they like wrapped completely around or some bullshit. No problem, boss. I don't feel like opening these doors this turn, because we're definitely not How? How? I mean, like, we have this encounter, but god, that's annoying. Like, how is how is that where they are? Sixty nine percent. All right. Uh, that was not where I expected that to happen. Okay. Well, we do have a stasis. Everybody else is in completely the wrong position, except for you. Oh, Charlie's in the right position. Cool. Alright, just run and gun to here and blow her brains out at close range. That'd be super helpful. Because we're going for the critical because we want the one-shot kill. 75% critical. Why not? We'll change that. There you go. You have implacable. It's fine. Seems doable. Okay. That's a lot better. Chelsea does need to, like, break a hole in this wall so that we can easily see this dipshit. Like, right now we're looking at him through a fucking window, this which is, is annoying. Yeah, he's upset. That's fine. Um... No, that's not what, not what you want to do. No, fuck. That was a misclick, but it won't matter. Like, we have we have a psionic that can see him, so like the psionic will just kill him. Fuck it. We have like five pistol shots we can fire at him. We'll just like dump pistol shots into him. Dodge again. Well, let's see if you can dodge three more times. I'm your Huckleberry. Target eliminated. All right, he doesn't dodge all three more times. Even if he dodged all three more times, that wouldn't have been enough. The only real setback we could suffer at this point on a tactical level would be like a death to one of our colonels, which would be also awful. Uh, especially because we lost Joe, so like we don't have a backup major for the Ranger class. Or if one of our psionics were to become injured and like reduce their psionic training, but like they're both basically at the end of their training anyway. So like tactical level, it would be difficult for us to suffer like serious issues. I wonder what the odds are on the landed UFO event. Because I really don't see it that often. Like, you can go through, like, a whole playthrough and never see it, and it's not part of any of the other event pools, as far as I'm aware. Our troops continue to exceed expectations while working with limited resources. Impressive, Commander. That's pretty sure.
don't really need increased region income. I do want to go see if the black market has anything interesting. Avenger plotting new course. Now we watch it slowly fly around the world. This does pass time, by the way. <laughs> Which I'm like, you're like, obviously it does, and I'm like, yeah, uh, PCS Spear, there it is. I don't think any of the rest of those are really, really useful. Alright, so, we're fine going back for some supplies, I guess. That's what we were scanning for earlier. So, oh, there it is. Avenger plotting new course. All right. But superior perception is what we were looking for, so that's awesome. Strategic resource located. Okay. There's, okay, so uh Conditioning, perception. There it is. Hopefully, we get another superior perception before we launch. Like the big one. Okay. Is there any. We don't really need alloys and crystals. We don't really need increased income. We don't even need in reduced contact cost, to be honest. Or to make contact with new Brazil. We can't establish any new contact. We do another resistance if we really need to and like uh bump that up, I'm not worried about that. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. It you did the things and it was awesome. But your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Mediocre? What did I get a mediocre for? Oh, eat my ass. Uh, ch yeah, chosen double their efforts. Good for them. Like, none of these events really matter, none of these are really interesting. Motherfucker. Like, what are you doing calling me mediocre? There's literally, like, no downside to last month. There was, like, one soldier. And we killed the last Chosen. Blow me. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, let's grab this 500 supplies. Making it rain. You got Stasis Shield. Wow, there's nothing even else for Charlie to train. He's already done. It's like we could start training like backup psionics, I guess. I don't know. Wait until Jordan's done. And then we'll start like running backup psionics. I guess. Stasis Shield. Soulfire, I guess. But I am gonna check that because like I know that ability exists. They might have just removed it in this game. Cause yeah, he has like literally every ability. He has insanity, rupture, schism. Is schism that? Insanity doesn't no. And schism is just uh, insanity does damage. Oh no, it's just a native ability with void rift that they suffer it. Got it. It's not an upgrade. I'm weird. I thought you had to. I thought it was an upgrade you had to train. I guess not. I don't know, it works for me. It is the YOLO combo. Oh, hey. Soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action. With a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back into it. We continue to progress in our campaign against the elders. Uh, breakthrough research, improved cannons, don't care. That's ew, beyond not caring about that. 40 intel. Improved shotguns is okay. Increase region income, combat intelligence, combat modular shotguns, who even begins to give a shit about that? I guess we'll do improved shotguns. Uh, 
Oh, scientist. Sure. We will work hand in hand with our new improving shotgun seems fine. We're using them. Uh, it's like one of the few weapons we're using that we haven't improved. What is this? Two days for improved swords? Seems fine. Alright. Finish this up. I got it. Okay. Avengers the black market reset? I thought black market should reset its supply drop, right? Or am I being crazy? Market is open. Uh, no. Down. Yeah, we have superior speed. Yeah, this looks like the same stuff. Okay, uh, we are making contact there, then we have some alloys and increased region income, which are both things we don't care about. Like, we don't really care about all of this, we're just like marketing time, kind of. Oh, uh, actually, let's start, uh, let's start taking black sites. Is everybody available? Charlie Hicks is training for two days, is tired for two days. Uh, yeah, we'll wait two days. We can wait two days. Attempting to establish local the results of our breakthrough were quite All right, we do have our improved swords. Sweet. Uh, we have the Warlock weapon inspired, nice. I will begin our research immediately. Does like he literally just have a gun that's just a gun? Cause that would kind of annoy me. Oh hey. Nah, I don't really care enough about proving the bond. Alright. I'll prove the bond after we do this. Let's do a little more. There it is. Oh, that should be it. Up. Oh. Alright, can we Gain ability points, modular shotguns, increase some intelligence, region income, soldier bond, 170 supplies, 40 impel. Feedback, weird, improved cannons. I guess we get intel, cause like, you can spend the intel for the end game stuff. Should be everybody. That's yeah, probably still tired for one day. All right, so we'll do warlock weapon and then watch. Our team is actually quite efficient. efficient. So, face on spot. Is it just a rifle? Powered armor is definitely the next one. And then if memory serves, there's not really anything useful for the remaining stuff I haven't, the autopsies I haven't done, so I'm like, whatever. Uh, Charlie Hicks finishes training first, so I guess we'll do... Let's see what the Warlock Rifle does. <laughs> Disruptor Rifle, Superior Scope, yes, yeah. Superior Expanded Magazine, Superior Hair Trigger, Superior Stock, that's it. Is guaranteed to critically hit psionic enemies. Okay. Firing primary weapon always. Is. Eh? So it just has a bunch of weapon upgrades on it. It's not like underwhelming. Then again, like he himself was underwhelming during a lot of his encounters, so I guess so. Then again, the sniper was underwhelming, but he had some fucking amaze balls guns. Anyway. Alright, so which let's see which one we're hitting. So what do we have? We have this one. This one... Extremely powerful and dangerous enemies guarding this location. Ooh. For this should be one of the alien hunters. Let's go check it out. Okay, so let's make sure we have the right comp. We have Brian... Wait. Fuck. Hold on. 
What can I do for you? It probably on. won't matter, but I do want to actually buy the uh, sniper rifle. Like the odds that it will matter seems to be basically zero, but I do actually want to buy it. Okay, now it's on. Now it's launched. Okay, so we have we have Brian, we have Charlie Hicks, Steven Ford is not part of the A team, and uh, Chelsea Scott is also not part of the A team. Let's see. All right. Yeah, the disruptor rifle automatically hits psionic enemies, and I'm like, great, there's like a handful of them in the entire game. Like what, Priest, Gatekeeper, Sectoid? I think it, and of course the Avatar. I think that's it. Like mulling around all the psionic enemies, but I think that's like, there's literally four in the entire game. Resistance contacts tipped us to an alien facility apparently conducting research tied to the Avatar project. We are moving in to take out the site and do whatever we can to slow their progress. Approach the designated target position and place the X4 charges. Then move to the evac point for immediate extraction. Once you're clear, we'll make sure that facility is out of commission for good. Because if memory serves, like, the Avatar progress track is, like, also dependent on the black sites. So, like, if we kill these, we basically just get infinite time to <laughs> finish the game. Like, it'll still progress, but very slowly without any of them. Menace 1-5. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X-4 charges. Ooh. Wait. No. Oh, I was like, are there are there seven people? No, there's not seven people. That makes me sad. I don't want to like great cover. On it. Just like hug this hill. Question is, who is going to be the lucky person to step up the ladder next turn? I think it's going to be Charles. Stack, stack, go. Looks like there is a nice hill overlooking the facility. Seems helpful. Do 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 do. All right. Oh, where is Charles? Alright, point man go. These turrets. And the game possibly unintentionally showed me a specter. Moving the designated position. So the way it pans the camera and will occasionally give you line of sights to things you can't see is very weird to me. Like that seems completely unintentional. Okay. So like, what if we just fast hand the specter right now? It's like I'm pretty confident that we could just like take this entire encounter like right the up now. Especially when you can do 14 damage with a pistol shot. 
that doesn't burn any actions. And now we have Brian face off and see what he see what he gets. I want to take his face off. Okay, so you kill him with a missed shot, right? Did you still do three damage? Or you can blow his head off with a 15 damage critical. Jesus. <laughs> sure. I can handle that. All right. You just shuffle around here. Okay, so that encounter is done. Like thoroughly. Oh, Z. Oh, I thought there was a way up over there. Apparently, there isn't. All right. Yeah, apparently there is not a way up over there. Go, Weird. Go, go. Anyway. Yeah, we are just going the loudest of the loud. Like, fuck stealth, we're just gonna shoot everybody in the face, walk up to the objective and complete it. If they don't like it, they're gonna be dead. Because we don't care. Okay. Uh, where is... Alright. The only reason I'm having Charles go first is because he's the Whatever slightly more gun specialized of the two rangers. So he has a little bit more flexibility in his positioning. Whereas Z is like mostly melee, but he has a gun that's pretty powerful if he needs to take a shot. Absolutely. No spots. Seems good. So let's just okay, yeah. walk. I guess that'll be okay. And we'll have Charles reload since he's the only. Does that gun get free reloads? I don't remember. Moving to position. I'll check it out. It has a shit ton of ammo, but like I want to reload just for the hell of it. No problem, boss. Right, so let's check Charles. Yeah, you don't have a free reload, so we'll go ahead and throw another one in just in case we need it. I don't think we will. Like, I suspect this game will end before we get a chance to pair seven shots with Charles, but. Um, and we're probably just gonna, like, literally jump in the front door. Because subtlety is dead. We shot it at the entrance to this facility three times in the head. Seems doable. Charles is just gonna walk in this room and stand in the middle of it and see if anybody's there. I'm on it. I can handle that. And I guess we have Z just walk up on the roof just to have somebody on the roof. Heading out. Yes, everybody overwatches. Let's think I would run into a group of enemies at this point, but who knows? Guess not. No, not the loot. Unless it's a PCS aim, I don't really care at this point. Like a PCS dodge would be cool for the because I think one of my psionics has one and one doesn't. Okay, where is... Oh, there's Z. Let's see, where can Z move? On my way! No 
problem, boss. Where our enemy? Was ist da drüben? Edmund is here. There's enemy. What do we got? Menace one five. You're there's, near the Yeah, there's a thing we have to bomb. I don't care. Where's the enemy? Gatekeeper. Oh, he's a fun one. Gatekeeper, Lancer, Shieldbearer. Okay, where? Off of Shine. Oh, you didn't. Oh, shit. Call yourself some cooldown. No! Alright, uh, fuck it. Just fire your pistol then. What can Jordan see? You should have like a high chance to like mind control the shield bearer. You do. Chain shot's too low. Try for a normal one. Nah, normal one doesn't do enough damage. Sure, let's go with chain shot. Let's be super optimistic. Oh. Adjusting aim. That arm is tough. Charlie. Walter should be able to like nail this thing, right? I should have rapid fired that actually. Yeah, I should have rapid fired that. That's annoying. Alright, so. Best bet is for Charlie Hicks to just soul fire this stupid thing. We're gonna have a Lancer. Hopefully, he goes past one of the Blade Storms. Oh, uh, where's my soul fire? This may be painful. It either hopefully either goes through a blade storm or a shield bear. Well, how about that? That encounter was slightly more awkward because I forgot Brian didn't have any of his good shit on cooldown. And I probably could have just shot it from the position he was standing at. Oh hey, here's this guy. He got activated. Although having him activate at the end of the turn is not actually that great. Because, like, if memory serves, he doesn't activate it all normally. Fucking chop his head off, Z. Z's like, nah, man. What did you expect? So this guy doesn't activate normally. Gets so we're gonna put him in stasis, and then next turn we're gonna gut fuck him. Like, we're just going to set up an ambush to kill the living shit out of him. And we're gonna have the elite shield bearer pop shields on everybody as well, because that's how we roll. Not a problem. There is an enemy above us that I can't see. I just saw the silhouette through the floor. Alright. On the move. Alright, so we're gonna move Jordan here. Because Jordan has our backup stasis. Okay, so have... Alright, we'll 
going to. I don't want to move. Pe I don't want to move him too much because I know there's a group of enemies like right the fuck there. Because the game randomly gave me a glimpse that it didn't need to. Zerker's like that was annoying. It's like yeah, it was. So, fire a pistol first with 100%, and then he does something. Does 8. He's upset. Fine. Does he walk into blade storms? He does walk into blade storms because he's an idiot. And he gets burning. Does Z get him as well? Z does get him as well. What's up, buddy? Wait, why can he not? Ah, oh, that position is awkward as fuck. Who can see him? Nobody can see this guy. He's ended up in, he's ended up in this awkward position where nobody can see him. So we're gonna take advantage of the fact that he does, literally doesn't do anything if we don't take actions. And we're gonna get both of our rangers like unstunned, hopefully. Meanwhile, so, yeah, there he is. So Z is unstunned. Tap him. Takes burning damage. He decides to do something. What does he decide to do? There's some sort of psionic rift. I cannot begin to fathom why Dr. Volin would have allowed it to have this ability. Trying to make a break for it. Take it out before it gets away. Okay, so like, Z is gonna blade storm it. Why can we not shoot it with the pistol? Or fan fire, right? Like, what is going on here? We can shoot it with the sniper, but not the pistol, and I don't know why. Because we can't, like, fast hands it either. This is so weird. Okay. I don't think we can kill it in this iteration, just because, like, this is getting, like... Because Z is not the one we need to shoot it to kill it right now. Or, uh, like, Brian's sniper is not what we need to shoot to kill it. Unfortunately, like, we don't have a good position. Like, nobody can see him somehow. Except for Brian. Ah, oh, this is... This is such an annoying position. This is, like, the only option we have. Does he run? He doesn't run. Interesting. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Does he move here? Now he reacts. Does he trigger another blaze storm? He doesn't trigger our blade sword. A piece is out. That position was like I have no idea. Y 
yeah, I have no idea what was going on with uh, Brian's pistol. Like, for some reason, he just couldn't shoot it. Like, it's... Something weird was happening there. Because I was like, if I can just fan the hammer on that stupid thing, like, I can probably kill it before it could do anything. Whatever you say. But that just didn't happen. Alright, let's chill for a minute and see if Charles recovers. We also have the guys up top that somehow haven't activated at all. Yeah, the Berserker Queen is the only one I haven't killed on the first go. I've killed the Snake Man King, whatever the fuck his name is, on the first try. I've killed the Archon on the first try. There they is. Uh, but I haven't killed the Berserker Queen on the first try. Mostly because, like, it's that sweet spot of HP where I just don't quite have the damage. Okay, we have an, yeah, we still have two moves. Forgot about that. Absolutely. For some reason, Charles is still like knocked out. Oh yeah. It's okay. That's what shield bearers are for, man. I'm kidding. But like the shield bearer probably can't have a track on this mission. Alright. Where is I'm going. Look how the shields are still there. Yeah, he's going to grab him. Completely forgot about the unconscious condition because, like, it comes up so rarely. Uh, you can't plant a bomb because the game is racist. I'm on it. And we'll get ready. We'll just walk out the okay, giant hole we poached in, in the side. It's the Berserker Queen, we should be able to just fucking destroy next next encounter with no effort. Yeah, the way I killed the Archon with the the first time I encountered it was I had it was like a stupidly heavy side build. And I had enough Psyonix that I could just be like, hey, I'm gonna stasis you, and I'm gonna have this mind controlled Archon drop a blazing pinions on top of your position. And Blazing Pinions has no cooldown. So and Blazing Pinions like also goes off right after the stasis ends. So I just immediately re-up stasis because I have a, enough stasises that I can just keep cycling them. And that was how I killed it. Like just because I had already completed the mission so I had infinite time to get rid of him. Yeah, and that was like how I killed the Archon from like, what is it, 70 HP or something retarded on like the very first attempt. Oh. I did bring the mind control uh, minion. Womp womp. I can't I can't actually mind control, uh evac mind control though. I think the only reason the only reason you can evac the ones that you get as a bonus is because uh because you start the mission with them in in your control and they're not mind controlled. I'm pretty sure the uh shield bearer doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have the evac action. I was like, I can put him on Overwatch. Wait a minute. That might end badly. He was like, wait, what? What's going on? Goodbye.
Did I just shoot him? No. Ready to boogie. <laughs> I was like, wait, can I just shoot him on the way out? No. Why not? Menace one five, status confirmed. S4 charges detonated. Easy enough, nobody dead, nobody wounded. So a few tired, easy enough, and then we can hit the next one. Operation Sweaty Hydra. Awesome. Yeah, this version of the game seems to put the alien rulers in very specific missions, whereas like XCOM 2 is just like, surprise, there's a ruler, eat shit, nerd. And it would do that even if you like told it not to use the uh, alien on the spawn, which was ass. Like I remember like a playthrough I specifically deactivated it because I didn't want to deal with that shit. And the game was like, I don't care, you're fighting them anyway. Like, oh blow me. Excellent work. Alright. Your efforts will no doubt slow the aliens' progress towards the Avatar project. Okay, so that reduced the project by a fair bit. Oh, hey, three. Nice. How did that get three and the gate got one? Blow me game. Setting course for Sector 3, Brazil. Soul Steel, what is your last one? Alright, Stasis Shield. Stasis Shield is not very good. Like, it's very rare if you have situations where the right answer is stasis friendly. Like, something weird it has to be going on for that to ever make sense. We have succeeded in our task. Uh, Racy Research, Manufacturer Upgrades, 17 Supplies, Combat Intelligence, Plus One Combat, 17 Ability Points. None of these are really that impressive, honestly. Uh, Greece region income? I don't care about any of these. Proof can it? I guess superior weapon upgrade. We'll see if we get something not shit. That's about where we're at. Machine learning. Research breakthroughs are twice as likely to occur. I don't really care enough. Alright, we have that one. Uh, we're full on contacts. So we can't even make contact unless we build another resistance thing, which we totally could actually. Our power is doing pretty good. Alright. pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare. Which means we can't expect. All right, so let's go. Where is everybody at? So we have tired six days, bond training four days. All right, so we have about six days left. So we'll go kill time, doing some uh, things. Avengers Get some supplies. That'll take eight days. Awesome. I wish there was just a way late game to speed up research, honestly, like... 
Because even getting scientists doesn't help that much. It's all like Enemy Within, where like you kind of have to build laboratories, otherwise it just doesn't do anything. We can get a scientist off that. That counters a hidden event and gives me supplies I don't care about. That gives me intel. Intel's okay. What is this one? Scientist. Some advent or with the bleeding rounds. Sure. Destroy a relay. Eleven enemies. Archon, Trooper, Purifier, Elite Purifier, Gatekeeper, Codex, Andromeda. That is a hell of a list. Yeah, let's go with that. Africa. Let's get a scientist to at least try to get this like uh, moving faster. has the AO under heavy surveillance so we'll need to keep a low profile Wait, what? On this one. Do I not have another soldier? Troops advent hasn't blacklisted yet. It'll decrease our chances of being detected. Oh. Wait, what? Low profile. Okay. Based on that group of enemies, I do not want to low profile that at all. <laughs> Alright, cancel every part of that because I'm not low profiling that. Only soldiers of rank sergeant or lower to take on that batch of enemies? Nuts to that shit. So I guess we'll go after the intel. For the Western US precinct. Do you want to take on a gatekeeper with nothing but sergeants? It's like, fuck no. Charles. Really don't want rookies. Grenadier, Grenadier. Who the fuck? Still has all these rookies. I don't want the rookies. Yeah, in terms of research, I think the only thing we have left is, like, power armor. And then once we get that, we're just dumping everything to shadow, uh, shadow projects. To do, like, story shit. Which should give us one more mission. Yeah, it should give us, like, one more story mission, and then we get, like, final mission after we do check all the boxes. Like, we have, like, three Grenadiers and, like, two Psionics. Like, I think we just go ape shit on this and blow everything up. Like, we're gonna try to give the game a heart attack and see if we can find a group of three organic enemies to drop a Void Rift on. Because that is always hilarious. installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. Uh-uh, we got somebody. We got a friend. I think it's an elite trooper. Order's confirmed. Moving out. Oh, there's a codex over there? It's taking cover, but it doesn't see me. So why is it taking cover? I am confused. On my way. 
Right? Like, why is it taking cover? It might just be like doing the cover animation because it's next to the terrain. But like normally they just kind of stand around. Not enough organic enemies in this group to have some real fun with Void Rift, so we're probably just going to do is mind control the Archon next turn. As is the rule. Because you always mind control Archons. Like the first rule of XCOM. This Spectre. I was actually surprised at how many actions the Spectre got. Get back here. Because the Spectre appears to be able to move. It appears to be able to, like, move, possess somebody, and also shoot, and then move again. Which is a crazy amount of action economy. That's fine. Oh, everybody's reacting to the Archon as opposed to my dudes. What's over there? You should be able to get here without getting Overwatch, right? Yeah, you can. There, catch. Okay, 100% hit the turret, but it's not a kill. 76% hit the codex, but it's also not a kill. We can fast hands this guy. It hit the plate. We could like rapid fire it, that would be cool. So. Let's just be weird. Sharing is caring. Just trigger as many enemies as possible is obviously the rule. To be fair, most of the enemies I'm triggering are so far away they can't see a single XCOM soldier, even if they move. That's more like it. So you have a hundred percent, a sixty-six percent for the Viper. Really? I guess it's because the over. I guess because of the range. Ninety-two percent. Yeah, hundred percent for the Archon. All right. We do nine to eleven damage. I'm trying to count it to points. It would be a pretty... it would need to be a pretty good shot. So let's reduce the amount of good shots we need. Here, by, like, making it an auto-kill. She has salvo, nice. Alright. Okay, so now we trigger cereal. Set him up, knock him down. You're hundred percent. So that's an auto kill. Oh, I definitely got that one. What is the highest? Sixty-eight, seventy-six, 
83 for the shield bearer. Let's go for that. for Spectre, 70 for Codex, 92% for that Viper. It's still up. Okay, who we got? Bull Rush, Elite Trooper, and Boss Man. We're just going to overwatch in place. Hmm. <laughs> Civilians running away. How did that not trigger any over? That's annoying. How did he... The fact that he failed that grab is like, come on. How do you fail that? This guy's just gonna go for a laser shot, probably. So I definitely should have tried to kill the mech. Like, the rest of it wasn't going to be too terribly relevant, but the mech definitely was. Sonic Bomb. Air. Oh, on the Archon? Weird. Okay. So who is the most injured? The most injured is the Advent Trooper. Jordan only took falling damage because he's immune to explosions because of Fortress. Ha. Ah. That's actually fine. Uh, can you go up here and melee him? That'd be sexy. No, you can't go up there and melee him. Damn it. Alright. Oh, you can melee the mech. Show him you're tired of your shit. Just tired of his shit. <laughs> or completely miss because you're a champ. Uh, where's the Advent Trooper? I love that. Yeah, I love that Charlie took like basically no damage from that, and like the Advent Trooper got like hurt for like five. Oh. Well, let's see what we do with this codex. Codex splits. Locked and loaded. Re reload. Dual strike. Oh, hey. You have that. Cool. Unfortunately, you don't have, like, free pistol shot. Okay. What is the best course of action? The best course of action is Fun Rift. By best, I mean not actually best, but most amusing. RNG. Nailed it. It'll kill him with a rupture anyway, so you don't get the additional effect. Just instantly dies. Alright. See. Where's Chelsea Scott? I 
Oh, free action. Hey, you got that one. Did you see that one? Gonna need to reload soon. Okay, I'll go. All right, you'll go over here. Hope we do some good damage to this mech. That's a pretty good damage roll. Not quite enough though. So you have a hundred percent chance to land him. And Charlie can also 100 percent There we go. Alright, Akira. There you go. I was like, guys, I took like two damage. That encounter was awful. <laughs> we have a gatekeeper, a purifier, and a dude. So we do need to move into position a little better than we currently are before we start like. before we move up and uh, trigger the gatekeeper and co. Whatever you say. I don't want our little elite trooper friend to die. Honestly, I think we just have Walter like yeah, probably just chill over here. I was debating going over the other house, but I'm like, eh, just have him stand here. Doesn't really matter. Already there. Get an Two psionics, both of them have stasis left. Should be able to take the next encounter. Should. Off. Probably have like two more enemies left on the map. I think. Yeah, I think that was the count. Yeah, the mission where it's like, you can only take sergeants. Welcome to Gatekeeper Land. And I'm like, fuck that. Jesus. The defense on Gatekeeper is horrendous. I kind of wish it wasn't the gatekeeper shooting it, but you know. Alright, move Archon. That triggered something. No, it didn't. Weird. Oh. I was trying to name that somewhere else. That was, that was a misclick. get sight to aliens anyway because there's like a door in the way it's fine no problem boss wait what oh wow I was like wait what Okay, 
I guess there's a specter there. Fascinating. I just completely forgot that that guy existed. Not even gonna pretend. Yeah, I was like, when I realized it was the gatekeeper shooting the relay, I was like, wait, they actually do a lot of damage to their primary. Womp womp. Charlie Hicks. There is a zero. I can handle that. To be fair, I don't really need to complete the missions. The rift beckons. Would be nice. Secondaries. Secondaries. Come on, Charlie. Got one. Be an auto kill. Yeah, it's mind controls and kills him with rupture. You know that was good. Does he get another secondary? Yes, he does. Might also kill him. Yeah. It does panic him. on gatekeepers is so goddamn high. Toss me some ammo. Part of the reason why it's absolute cancer to try and fight a gatekeeper without a with a low level party. Especially because they also have like six armor base. Hitting the Archon. Okay, I guess we fire it there so it doesn't hit the Archon. How does that not hit the Archon? Where is it standing that that is the correct whatever? Okay. So we have the Archon, we have the Elite Trooper. Your grenade won't miss. And it should shred the rest of his armor, do some damage. Very minor damage, but better than you just trying to shoot the stupid thing. Only a 96%? That seems low. Should have it though. You melee attack it. I guess. Okay. 
guess you can't melee attack it? It might be their positions being weird. Okay, so you're the last one. We can auto kill it with a uh, soul fire. No, not the Archon, the Gatekeeper. And this guy should still be panicked for this turn, and then we just kill him. Alien data cache. It's over here. Boom. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Yeah, I, I knew that would get awkward as soon as I saw the thing that was shooting it was the gatekeeper, and I'm like, oh, those actually do a fuck ton of damage. We have failed. Operation Death Saga is completely irrelevant that we didn't get whatever the hell we were out there to get. Slightly wounded one day for Charlie. Some people are tired. Not too bad. Hello, Commander. A turret breakdown? Weird. Yeah, so you just have a bunch of people that are tired. Womp womp. So that's really all we have like going on. As far as negative status effects. And Charlie's like injured for like two days. What was I going after? Supplies? Or increase regional income? I don't know, like, we have a hundred, we have 700 supplies. I guess we'll increase regional income? There's like nothing else to do on the tactical map at this point. Avenger plotting new course. We'd make like towers, but doesn't really matter. Charlie Hicks has recovered from his wounds. Okay, so let's... Let's just start training some uh, extra psionics just for the hell of it. Our action together is complete, Commander. Got a superior laser sight. Neat. Uh, what do we have? Breakthrough... Increase income... Troop combat intelligence... All these kind of suck. I'll order my people to get underway 
immediately. Right, Charlie and Cody have finished their bond trading. Not really worried about that. What is this? We had an engineer in 93 Intel for extracting a VIP. Purifier, Archon, Heavy Mech, Spectre, Sectoid, Mutant, Elite Officer. That's a really light group of enemies. It's only like nine enemies. It's gotta be a trick to that. Okay, so you got Charlie, Charles Holcomb, Charlie Hicks, he's fine, okay with that squad. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe, five by five. And we'll just blaze through this. get an engineer from this, which is not bad. We can still use the engineer to, like, man the uh, resistance contact station or, like, any of the power core, either the two power stations. So, like, like there's never a downside to having an engineer. So, it seems fine. Target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Okay, so... Not really going to be too terribly subtle for this, because I don't feel like we need to be What's at this point. There? Civilian's like, uh, I'm out. To be fair, if somebody just broke in the window with a fucking machine gun, I would probably be out too. Be like, hey, you know what? You do you, buddy. Especially when there's like a perfectly functional door right there. Like, that just seems gratuitous. Heading out! Alright. We will move up next turn. Next turn we'll move up to the window. That's probably where we'll see our first contact. We have both of our veteran rangers, a really good psionic, we have one of our two good snipers, we have some heavies, so we should have the firepower to deal with anything pretty easily. And you should just go there and hunger down. Spots? Cool. Okay, where are we uh where's boss man? I guess that'll be okay. Really? I am sure surprised and confused by that to the point where I think they're over here. Okay. No problem. 
Now I'm even more confused. We have a lot of sight and no aliens. Moving to position. I can handle that. Like I guess we overwatch because like we can't push up that much further. I'm going. Weird. On Overwatch. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. Scanning. Got it covered. I've got movement here. Yeah, like I was anticipating them being in this direction, but we've done a fair bit of movement and not seen anything. So I'm like, kind of curious what's going on with this. Like, the LZ's like right there, and there are three groups of enemies left. So they practically have to be stacked on top of each other. Okay, I'll go. Alright, see if Nick White can see anything. Wow. Alright, this is the kind of thing that actually starts to concern me, because, like, the LZ is, like, right fucking there, and we don't see dick. And there are 11 enemies left. Like, I feel like there should be, like, horror movie music playing. Like, it's not that we're in that bad of a shape to just kill them, but man, this is not great. I'm gonna move Z out of here. Cause like I'm like 90% there are no enemies in there. Cause the closest ping was like out that way. That's usually what the little like sound waves means. It's like that's the closest enemy, not necessarily the only enemy. Seems doable. All right. Okay. The lake. Man, I am moderately concerned something incredibly bad is about to happen. I'm on it. I'm on it. Seeing like literally no contacts at this point. But like this much movement forward seems ridiculous. Oh, we have a mute on. Uh, did Nick White just kill him? Holy shit, Nick White just shot him in the goddamn face. Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's make sure to take it out this time. It does this trigger a reaction from the boss? It doesn't. Whatever you say. Okay, boss does not react. Interesting. On your order. Yeah, I think you have to do it within LOS of the boss for him to react, but like this is another equally awkward position. He's just like completely out of line of sight right now. Okay, I guess we overwatch again? This is really awkward. This is like... God, words cannot express how awkward this current like engagement is. Because the Berserker is just right the fuck down there. We've also moved a lot. Like, the LZ is right there, and we've only seen, like, one pot of enemy. Oh, fucking Christ, you've got to be kidding me. I can handle that. Wait, what? God damn it. This is really annoying. 
Not a problem. Like, we have to move forward. This enemy is in the most awkward goddamn spot imaginable. I'm trusting you here. Yeah, like, we can't see this berserker at all. We have no idea where he no is. Problem, Charlie is practically posted up on the ledge, and he can't see shit. No problem, so, like, boss. we have to get the civilian out, so, like, let's just move forward, I guess. Like, we don't want to run out of time. What? How's the game going to throw all of the enemies in this goddamn pit? Eat my ass. Not even being like... Yeah, like... We cannot see anything because this fight is so fucking awkward. So... We're gonna do... Like, we have to basically use grenades to prime the enemy. Because we can't see anything to, like, directly shoot. Okay, so we have to use, like, fast hands. 100%. It's 100% to hit and kill the Spectre, it looks like. So we'll fast hands this guy. And then we'll face off and hope that kills all of them. I think it does. I think it's like 100% to kill all of them, right? Yes. 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 Alright, cool. Target's cleared. Okay. Game's being fucking weird, but we got it. Yes, VIP hunkers down back there because there's still a berserker running around. This is so weird. Why you gotta do this to me, game? Where is Charles? Okay. No problem, boss. That should see the berserker, right? <sighs> Thanks for stacking all of these enemies in the most awkward possible spots, game. There's still one more group of three enemies, by the way. Okay, well. Since we know for a fact that this doesn't trigger... And it's 100%, so... We know for a fact that that doesn't trigger multiple additional actions, it's just one attack. So we'll just have Brian White fucking execute him. Uh, Let's just do a free axe throw real quick. Nice. Oh, he dodged it. It's fine. Also, he's like floating in midair because, of course, he is. If we get the first one, I think we auto kill him. Nah. But we do get a three damage miss. Yes, he's floating because, like, it shifted at the wrong time. Like, the game is being. The game was being weird. That's right. That was a really good shot, Z. Uh, where is... Charlie Hicks. Okay, so like... Charlie is just gonna have to move forward, make sure... Make sure it's clear and stasis this fuck. Stasis civilian? What are you... Jesus, man. No, stasis Archon. Yeah, Charlie's like floating right now because reasons. We're gonna throw him in stasis just because we don't want to deal with him right now. And we have to kind of keep moving. Uh, Brian... Why does he have another move? I don't know, maybe some... I don't remember.
Yeah, you can tell he's still here. Because, like, the... there's That little area is blocked out. Like, he's actually still here. Just the game is not... Has, is not currently registering that he's still there. Or it's like the character model has been, like, shoved off the side. Uh, Nick. Come up here. So it should be another group of three enemies. Right? Or no, two enemies. No, three, three, three. Because it was two, two, three. And it was a uh, ten total. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Okay, so whatever you say. Like we have options if the mind control fails and it's like an eighty-seven percent, so we're just gonna go for the mind control. Because, like, Z auto-hits this guy and he can't dodge it, so, like, whatever. Even if we bomb the mind control, Z can still basically do most of his hit points. There we go. And now we just set up for next turn. And we can just run off next turn. There are still more enemies, but we don't see them, which so we just, like, chill. Heading out. To rock. Uh, fine, reloading Z's bolt caster. Okay, run this building up here. Alright, Brian goes here, pull security. Uh, Charles, just gonna go run to here. <laughs> Game's like, wait a minute, I know where he is now. It, like, fucking respawns him. And Nick will just chill here. Okay. And we'll just pull security and we can just run to evac next turn if we, nothing shows up. That was a, that was a weird ass encounter because all the enemies were in that dumb trench. Okay. Everybody should be able to just run to his thing now. <laughs> Found the last group. I mean, that's fine. We're just gonna run past them. Like, uh, where's Z? Because if I'm remembering correctly, you always have the evac. Yeah, you always have the evac action. So like Z can just run up, slash him, and he'll still have the evac option. So it doesn't matter that uh, he was overwatching. Because like Z doesn't take the overwatch, removes it, and can still evac. X. And Brian. Go, go, go. And last but not least, we have the engineer we're escorting. But yeah, like we could take these guys out, but like we don't need XP, so I don't see any pressing reason to do that. So it's like and we don't get any corpses on this mission because it's an evac, so it's like, fuck it. Why do you have... Why does he have two evacs? Is one, like, more evac -ier? Just in time. I'm going. 
accomplished. Yeah, basically all the soldiers that matter all already have all the XP they need, so like we get stat pad, but like we're not even getting corpses off of that to like sell later or anything crazy, so it's like fuck it. We'll just peace the fuck out. Yeah, like, the two evacs on the scientist I don't get. Like, I'm not sure, like... Because he should only have one, like, he shouldn't gain a second from anything, so I have no idea, like, why he even had two options. Because I don't think there was a difference between the two, right? Unless one was just a leave now, but, like, leave now wouldn't make sense in that mission. We're expecting a fight like that. I'm impressed, Commander. Commander. Having successfully recovered one of Dr. Valen's genetically modified test subjects, I am eager to begin conducting an autopsy as soon as possible. It is my hope that by following her own research notes, I will gain an even greater understanding of just how she managed to accomplish effort, these Commander. rapid changes. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Sure. They can be friends. Seven days left for power armor. Right. We're gonna keep going for a little bit more because I want to like progress this uh faster. Try to finish it up this week. Assorted loot. You know what? Assorted loot is actually like the most tempting thing right now because I want another PCS for uh improving aim. It's probably gonna be something shit, but you know. Fisher got inspire. Inspire is actually a good ability. Uh insanity God, that is not Really, the uh. That is not the cadre of side powers you want. Like, insanity's kinda crap. Inspire for Daniel James. Stasis. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Sure. We get a contact, yay! Intelligence. I don't care about most of these. But they go XP to people that I don't really send on missions, so I guess we'll do that. Mysterious stranger. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We Things and stuff. My followers and your people continue to grow in skill. And in now reserves, gain additional plus three power on the Avenger. Should you need it. Eh. That's cute. I don't really care. I honestly care less about the 608 supplies than I care about this, because, like, I am rolling in supplies right now. Oh, we have one day for increased region income. We might as well hit that up real quick. Since we're, like, almost there, basically. Let's hit the supply drop. I'm trying to remember how many HP the uh, the Super Archon have. I think it's like fucking 
I think it's like 70 or something Commander, insane. There were a few wounded during the latest covert action. No, oh, Stephen <laughs> Ford was wounded. Everyone will be ready to get back out there. The refresh it does. Fabricate PCS. Maybe we should give them a try. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Yeah, the speaker guy likes try likes the talking shit. Mediocre. Oh, kiss my ass. Avenger plotting new course. Well, it's like we've lost like two soldiers like this entire time, and one of them was to some straight up bullshit. Uh, superior conditioning. That's not really wanted. Okay, none of that's really useful. Uh, how much longer we got on power armor? Three days. Awesome. So let's go with the mysterious assorted loot. Just want a PCS aim. Or like another PCS uh, dodge wouldn't be bad for the other psionic. That's really all I'm looking for for supplies. But like we have like a billion intel and cash. Fisher got insanity. Nice. Hey, stasis. Winner. And stasis on Daniel James. Sure, insanity. Alright. Hey, give me power. Although we prefer to work alone, sometimes it helps to have backup. We could use your help, Commander. Oh, uh, we get a scientist in 82 intel. Elite trooper, gate trooper, sectoid, specter, heavy mag, shield bearer, ever resistance operative. Alright, I guess. Let's go. Alright, we have a gatekeeper, we do have Brian, he's the one we want for dealing with gatekeepers, just in general. Let's cruise by and let's watch. There's not a lot of enemies on this though, I think it was like 8 or something. Yeah, the Elite Archon has like a fucking shit ton of HP. It's like 70 or 80. But like counting their HP is like counting grains of sand, which is why I hate the way this game displays HP bars. Like the Sectopod is just this fucking line. Thanks. That helps make informed decisions about what will kill it. We just got word from the resistance. One of their top people was moving near the city center when Advent got suspicious of them. After making a break for it, the VIP holed up in a temporary safe house in the tunnels beneath the city. Advent is still in the area, but we're going in to facilitate the VIP's safe extraction. Keep your eyes open for hostile activity. I am curious because like this entire playthrough we've been running with like increased will recovery and I'm wondering like how much that has mattered in terms of soldiers not being tired when missions launch. The thing is only like a 25% but like that adds up over time. The resistance VIB is hiding in the tunnels not far from your position. One of their field operatives is also on site to assist you in the rescue. Firebrand is standing by, but be careful. We'll have limited opportunities to set up a viable extraction point down there. Moving to designated position. We've got an enemy squad here. Okay. Is confirmed on the move. Alright, we have it, Cody. On the move. Already there. I'm all 
all over it. There wasn't a huge number of enemies listed. <laughs> all of them were in one place. Awesome. Like, yeah, there wasn't a huge number of enemies listed. They're all in exactly the same spot, so you know. That helps. Let's do this. At least we don't have to guess, shit. All that trouble to Remember, set up and they just like no walk how away. Get down here. We can't evac until we complete the mission. Roger that. Honestly, this might reveal, but I don't really care that much. Open the door. I'm actually surprised he didn't get revealed off that. Okay. See both of the mechs. Hilarious. All right. Well, fast hands this one. We've been spotted. Then we'll see if we can pull the rest of them out and get some real value out of a face-off. Possibly use a grenade to open up enough fire lanes and damage. Actually, that seems like a pretty viable option. What the fuck? We saw something further up, didn't we? Okay, so what like what can you currently see? You have 79, 95, 95, 95. That seems like a good enough face off, we'll go for it. Oh wow, he just critical and killed the other mech. Nice. Uh, better damage than I was expecting, actually. Okay. I'll make it clean. Can you not get to the Spectre? Oh, you've already moved. You can't get to the Spectre. That's fine. I think he might be able to if he does this. Hold on, let's go. Because he should get... Does he get a move off of Implacable and another action? Yes. He gets a move off Implacable and another action. I can move faster if I kill things. By the numbers. What did you expect? We have another group of enemies. Somehow they didn't reveal on the Spectre, but they did reveal on that. Fascinating. Well, sure thing. You know what they say. I'm just going to see if the repeater goes off. <laughs> Fucking hero, Cody. Damn it. Z needs one more action. Wish I had a psionic with him.
I mean, he doesn't really need one more action. They're fucking sectoids, but like, if he had one more action, he could like keep going. What the hell are these sectoids? They're in like weird ass positions over here. Everybody's overwatch in case the sectoid tries to do anything weird. Like jump down the fool. Damn you, Nick White. It's still moving. Did nobody else get shots on him? Yeah, I thought other people would get shots on him. I think that's like literally every enemy on the map, at least everyone that was starting on the map. We'll see. Cause I think it only showed like eight. Like we're not just going to assume there are no enemies, we're gonna be like somewhat cautious, but... I gotta admit, Cody's repeater did save uh, a lot of headaches in that part. I was like, I'm not sure I have a great answer to a gatekeeper now that, like, almost everybody's already activated. But Cody's like, nah, I got you. 10% okay, go. of the time, it works every time. Because I do think he has the 10% repeater. Heading out. Alright. Good, good, good. Good. And we'll have Z throw another bolt in. Okay. Where's the door? Oh, it's like all the way on the other side. Fun. Absolutely. Play some leapfrog. Move, move, move. I feel like I should just say like nuts to this and blow up the wall. I'm all over it. Cause like I really don't want to walk all the way around. Yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna be lazy and uh, blow up the wall with a grenade next turn. Double time. Or this turn. There we go. Perfect. That is a terrible idea to do as your last action. Doesn't quite cost us anything though. I'm going. What's up, buddy? Where are you going? All the way over there? Oh, that's where hostiles are going. Well, where are we getting out? VIP identity confirmed. Firebrand is set oh. up for evac. Oh, we We've just have to hold this position. Closing on your position. It's an ambush. Hold your ground. Interesting. Okay. So. Alright, we'll set you up here. On the move. Alright, 
Mayday. Yeah, I've never actually done this mission before, so it's like, it's an ambush, and I'm like, that's fascinating, question mark? Location confirmed. Uh. Alright, Doctor, sit in the corner of the room that's on fire. Actually, sit away from that window. That makes more sense. Uh, who else we got? Boss man. Let's have boss man over here. Alright, and I guess we go in Overwatch with everybody. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. I'm on it. Alright, what you got? Just a Lancer. Just a Sectoid. Oh. Oh, okay. It's also Archons. I was like, that seems like a bitch group of enemies. Let's execute him. Nine damage, though, is pretty good. Negative damage. But, yeah. He did get executed, but not that way. I like the oh, not the face pose he had there for a minute. They're shifting their attack! And we have Sectoid Archon, seems fine. Archon's like, zero chance you could possibly kill me. Unstoppable. Okay. Attack rolls are stupid. We'll shift over to here. I'm gonna keep that door closed, and we're just going to let the Archon walk into us. I can handle that. Scanning. I'm on it. Scanning. Overwatch. Got it covered. Like, there's no real reason to like rush towards them. I've got troops here. That's a pretty severe group. <laughs> Kill the Joe and just dump everybody into the uh, Andromeda, please. Thank you. I got it, right? That was a really nice shot, Cody. Terrible miss, Nick. That was pretty good. Went off the armor. That doesn't knock him out. Don't we have another Overwatch? Isn't Charles on Overwatch? Apparently not. Yeah, Charles was on Overwatch. How did Charles not see him? It looked like the Archon was just double running. And <laughs> Blaze Eat shit. Alright, uh, yeah, Battle Frenzy doesn't do anything yet. Sectoid probably tries to do something stupid because he's a Sectoid. Wow. They have a really easy time mind controlling Charles. That's unfortunate. Okay. Walter. We'll leave. Yeah, this should give you a nice blanking so. shot. Okay. So you're gonna go over here. Ready to engage. Free reload. 100%. So we'll go serial. 100%.
15 damage. This should also trigger serial. Jeez, another critical, nice. Yep, trigger serial. 68%? Really? That gets him anyway. Free reload, because we have it. Fast hands. And we're going to shoot him again for 100% for the kill. That's it! And we still have serial active, so I guess we Overwatch. Wait, why are you why are you registering as flanked? Weird. So next group of enemies is coming out there. On your order. Push him up a little bit. If you say so. And who else we got? Mayday. Mayday will get over here and try to shoot through this little On gap. Affirmative, covering now. Come get some. Affirmative, covering now. Affirmative, covering now. Dead. No need to ask twice. Alright. Oh yeah. Priest. I've got eyes on that purifier. Priest and purifier, really? It's like an underwhelming oh, what is that a priest or is that a shield bearer? I think it's a shield bearer. That was really wide. Yeah, that's a shield bearer, not a priest. Deflection. Guys are shooting at me. Yep. They're bringing in reinforcements. Firebrand is in position for the extraction. Get out of there before things get any worse. We've picked up a lull in their forces. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's get moving before that changes. Can we get everybody out now? I don't think we can. We'll go and get the scientists out just in case. Or the engineer, whatever he is. Uh, can Charles run to extract? Charles can run to extract, which means that everybody should be able to get to extract. Damn you and your stupid gremlin. Got it. Evac confirmed. I'm I'm trusting you here. Heading home. And boss man. Okay, Alright, that's alright. Yow. I'm going. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Excellent work out there.
violent confrontation befell our brave Advent forces today. Our selfless peacekeepers gave their lives to protect our fellow citizens from dissident XCOM forces. Easy enough. In the field. Everybody's chilling. A few of them retired. Seems Efficiently fine. Executed and no casualties. Scientists, yay! Lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. Okay. Soldiers. Yeah, somebody needs a promotion. All the mix. Easy enough. Okay, just, uh, what do we got? One day left on power armor. Sweet. Don't need intel. What was I doing? Supplies. Don't care. Intel. Don't care. Avenger Loot. Aha, ah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, our intel's at 335 and our supplies is like 1400. I've made a number of interesting discoveries, there we go. Commander. Warden armor, war suit, ray suit. They have an inspired berserker queen, so that's only a day. Alright, we'll burn a day on it. Working within the tight constraints of the Avenger. I've had a difficult time finding room to come okay. more proving ground experiments. Perhaps the next project. time we set down. Ray suit. Instant. One Illyrium core, fifty supplies, ten away and allies. We should have all of that, right? Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. And let's make, let's just buy general power armor so I don't forget about that for like the other non, like the not top tier people. Ward armor, water break. This is our basic power armor frame. Provi yep, yep, it is power armor. Uh I got a report of some cracking okay. down by the aft lift yesterday. I just hope it's not metal fatigue. Okay, view soldiers. Z Load out. Have Wraith armor. Our Stealthia suit, the Wraith, provides a range of movement that technically violates the laws of physics. There's also a grappling hook for good measure. Yeah, like, plus 25 dodge is pretty crazy. And, yeah, also increases your mobility. Also has a grapple, like, Wraith Armor's dumb. With all that's been going on, we've never really had time to consider the possibility, but I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. Okay, uh, I'm fine swapping a plasma grenade for blue screen. And I think Walter also has a plasma grenade, but I'd rather have the dragon fire rounds. And Charles gets Wraith. And Judge! It's Wraith. Mm -hmm. 
And Zero also gets Wraith. Alright. So all research and all in-game equipment are done. Once we stop the Berserker, once we get done with the Berserker autopsy, we're basically just shadow projecting our way through it. We've already got all the Psy powers. We completed our research yeah. in remarkable time, Commander. As Dr. Valen noted in her and we have the rage we can build. Irresponsible and borderline irrational for her to have spare parts one immediately, otherwise I knowing the incredible risks spare involved. parts. Not just to herself, but all proving crown cottage I don't remains. care. Yeah, none of this matters. I know. Leave anyway. We're about to shadow project. Commander, We're about to do shadow chambers. Okay. We should start the analysis as so, black side vial. But I don't see any way we can avoid powering it up if we're going to understand how it works. Commander, now that we've built the Shadow Chamber, we should be able to complete a more thorough analysis of the alien artifacts. What is the Rage Suit? Or is it Proving Ground? It's probably Proving Ground. There we go. Uh, can you only build one of these? Yeah, fight. They're fun. Yeah, you can only build one of them. Figured as much. Question is who wants the uh, raid suit? Hmm. The Rage Suit only gives you plus one HP for armor. Allows wear to charge enemies and put melee, don't care. Has a chance to panic mutons and berserkers. Yeah, like it's it's kind of shitty. Like we built it, but it's not really all that useful. Um, we'll give it to Cody. You deserve it, buddy. Only got one of these things, so be careful with it. Just because you look like a berserker doesn't mean you can go charging off into combat like they do. Oh yeah, it has a heavy weapon. Yeah, seems fine. Okay. And what is it? Resistance communications facility now Resistance cool. So we have the resistance calm up. We're going to move somebody off the resistance ring. And man the power station. Okay. And at this point we're just cruising towards the end game. We have all the equipment we need, everybody's fully leveled. So that seems like a good place to stop session. And next session is probably just going to be plowing through that and the last one should just be the uh, final mission. So have a good night everybody.